In this video, I'm going to explain what exactly is meant by chain in LangChain. LangChain is quite popular these days. It is simply a framework for developing artificial intelligence applications powered by large language models. Okay, now for this example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Google Colab for the demo to explain what exactly is a chain in LangChain. In simple words, a chain is an end-to-end -end wrapper around multiple individual components, providing a way to accomplish a common use case by combining these components in a specific sequence. One of the most popular chain is called as LLM chain, which consists of a prompt template, a model, and an optional output parser. Okay, let's see it in action to better understand. I'm already logged into my Google Colab notebook, which is a Jupyter notebook. The first thing we need to do is to install some of the prerequisite libraries. I'm using Transformer, Hugging Face, and LangChain. Let's click on play. While it installs, because I'll be using a model from Hugging Face, let's also get the Hugging Face API key so that we will be able to use it to log in. Create a free account on Hugging Face if you don't have already and then click on your profile and then from your profile on the left hand side click on access tokens and in access token you will see this key here and we'll be using it shortly to log into hugging face let's wait for these libraries to finish installing and as you can see they are still getting installed all done scroll down click on plus code and this is the command you use to log into the hugging face while this runs, you see that it is asking for a token. Go back to Hugging Face, click here to copy this token, come back, paste it here, and click on Login. Now you are logged into the Hugging Face. Now let's import some more libraries in order to use LangChain. So I'm importing Hugging Face, Prompt Template, and LLM Chain. It says it couldn't find it, so let's first install it. The command for it is pip install langchain. Uh, okay, hang on. Let me run it and let's wait for it to finish. You can see that it has finished installing at last and also finished importing it, which is great. Now, in the next step, all we need to do is to use the lang chain and i'll show you what exactly i mean by chain here so let's first go through this code this is a question just a string where the value is what are the steps to renovate a bathroom and then we are using a template and this template starts from here and finishes here this template is for the prompt and prompt is simply a special format in which we ask llms a question so the format for this template is we have a question then this is the variable which we have defined here and then this is the answer this is how it will start and we have enclosed it in the triple quotes then we are defining our prompt with this prompt template and this is the template which we are going to use and these are the input so this is the question we are going to ask in this format from the model the model which we are going to use for this example is Flan T5 from Google. It's a lightweight text generation um, model, which is quite useful in this type of small examples. And then we are defining the LLM by giving it a temperature. Temperature simply means to, to uh, specify the randomness of the response. If it is zero, it will be absolute sort of response. And if it is one, it could be anything so it will be very random so this is primarily the randomness of the response and this is the token length okay and then we are defining our chain here that this is a chain and as i mentioned earlier chain is simply where we need to gather all the components so we are telling it this is our input which is embedded in this prompt and then this is our model which we already have specified here and initialized here when we give these 
things, all of these components in one command to Lang chain, it runs it. It automatically knows, okay, this is my input. This is the prompt for this model. And it reaches out to model and then answers our question. So let me run it now. So you can see it has finished running and it has given us some steps. They start by removing the old bathroom from the walls and install new plumbing and electrical wiring, and then it goes on and on. And you can see that how easy it is to create your own um, sort of chatbot or uh, question answer software with by using Langchain. So this is the whole idea behind Langchain that it simplifies using the LLMs by using these chains. I hope that you found it interesting and simple. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.